Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I know what you're thinking. You've probably never seen a more beautiful sight. To your left, a 63, middle, 64, and to the right, a 1966 Lincoln Continental convertible. While they're beautiful to look at, they come with a couple of headaches. However, in review, many of which can be conceptualized and worked out. I hope this video is helpful if someone is now scrolling the YouTubes for advices. What you can see here is the mechanical fuel pump lid bolts unscrewed to save time. The automobile was started, 30 seconds, engine is running, after which point it shuts down. Opening the hood, there was gasoline leaking from the perimeter. Prior to investigating further, the car was shut off to prevent gasoline irritation or injury. In removal of the mechanical fuel pump lid, it was noted that this piece was out of place. In looking at the piece, you would think maybe it should go this direction here. However, I was not certain. So what I decided to do was evaluate the mechanical fuel pumps on two of my other Lincoln Continentals. Under this hood of this 1964 holy grail of Lincoln Continentals with less than 20,000 original miles, you can see this mechanical fuel pump is not the same. So let's move over now to the 1963 Lincoln Continental with 11,900 original miles on it. Now you can see here this fuel pump is very similar in nature. To save time in this video, the bolts were unscrewed. Lifting it up, we can see that in fact that piece should be inverted from my original assessment. Moving back over to the 1966 Lincoln Continental, my first love, we can now accurately and confidently replace this piece into its resting place. Gentle tap, no need to lock the plunger into place. The lid is then placed back over, tightened appropriately, and now it's time to enjoy your Continental. I hope this video was helpful for those out there inquiring. Have a great day.